With ebooks, there's no limit to the number of books that can be published. Anyone can access ebooks. This is a big advantage and enables ideas to be conveyed to more readers. Unlike paper books, ebooks have a very wide and diverse reach. I'm really happy. If a book can be enjoyed by everyone and gives them pleasure, it's a great honor for an author. As you can see from the cover, this book is actually in color. I used a lot of color in this book, so I even thought of choosing Math Behind Art as the title. It contains a lot of artistic and beautiful mathematical works, all in full color. That's why I'm happy that the ebook version is able to show these colors clearly. Another reason is that when words are small, they're difficult to read. But with ebooks, you can make the words as big as you like until they practically leap off the page. I think that's great. Moreover, big books contain extensive information and many can be kept on a single device, which I think is useful. One major advantage of ebook collections is that they reduce the financial burden, especially on students. It's very important to be able to create a suitable environment for all of those who want to study. That helps a lot. In addition, discrete mathematics is connected to so many other fields, such as crystallography, chemistry, communication engineering, cryptology, design, architecture, etc. I think books get more exposure when they are provided in collections according to related fields. This is especially the case with my latest book. I really hope it will be read by a lot of people, young people who are not math majors and math amateurs. In other words, those who are not professionals. In that sense, I think the collection system is a very good development. By reading the book and broadening their perspectives, reading the achievements of researchers, it will motivate readers to contact those researchers and perhaps propose joint projects. Even this time, there were many artists who told me they wanted to make a joint math and art exhibition. I held such an exhibition for two months in autumn 2016 with the aim of gathering friends and peers and widening the circle of research and exchange between people from different areas. Oh, there are too many. All Springer books are worth reading. I've read many of them myself. Thinking of this now, one book that made a big impression on me was Functional Analysis by Kosaku Yoshida. This book was like the Bible of its field. It's a real tome, about 400 or 500 pages. When I was a graduate student, my specialty was, in fact, partial differential equations, and I remember reading this book day and night. That's why I remember it so well. Another reason why the book particularly stands out for me is because my mentor at graduate school was Professor Michio Nagumo. He's practically a god in the world of partial differential equations. He also published a book called Michio Nagumo, Collected Papers with Springer. I studied that book painstakingly. Recently, I've read a lot of books in my area, like Lectures on Discrete Geometry. There's also the book Research Problems in Discrete Geometry. The third author, Janos Pak, is a great friend of mine. It examines a number of unsolved problems. I think it's a wonderful book. I worked with many of my colleagues to supervise the publication of the Japanese edition. With print books, researchers tend to paste post-its here and there to use the information as a reference guide in their work. But think about it. It's impossible to carry all these books around. Books are heavy. But with ebooks, you only need to carry around your device. Carrying digital copies is very convenient and compact. If you want to read books that are out of print, ebooks allow you to easily search, find, and buy them. That's just wonderful.
Interdisciplinary research is becoming more and more important, and I think many researchers have a lot of books on their field of expertise. However, they have difficulty finding information outside of their field. Ebook collections enable them to collect information from other fields. In my case, I always look for interesting problems, and I discover mysteries one after the other and solve them one by one. I want to discover new things and continue to surprise and excite people with what I find. I want to continue living this way for a while. I urge readers to pursue the unknown world and unravel the mysteries out there. I'd be very happy if my thoughts and visions could help encourage them to do so. Music